What is going on Collectors Optical 20 back for another video review today we are going to take a look at the Enterbay Giannis Antetokounmpo and if you want to order any Enterbay figures head over to bigbadtoystore.com I'll put the link down below this is sold out but they still have a massive sale with Durant, Jordan, Kobe, Steph and all that stuff they're on clearance right now so take take a look at that but we're gonna unbox this item but before i do so you see this this uh beautiful signature right there um i want to give a shout out to scott bradley who gave me well also to um uh jedi knight's watch for you know letting me know about the sale but scott had an amazing price in this so thank you for that and uh was finally able to get one because let me tell you i'm not going to buy this for the retail that they were asking for for enter bay and you can see certificate authenticity so the msrp for this is 299 i think i've been vocal that uh enter bay products is um overpriced to say the least for what they offer now they offer sometimes really good product but it doesn't mean that uh the price justify what you're receiving um for the price that i got it for absolutely it's 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 a it's a good deal but for the amount that they're asking for no this is not worth 299 or 275 whatever the case is no this is not like a hot toys um you see the the accessories that are included here they're all nice they're good they improved uh still doesn't justify the price in my opinion um and the i wouldn't say the quality per se but the amount especially the head sculpt has kind of deteriorated and uh, a bit lackluster over the years now the accessories improved like the base itself as you can see here it's a two-part base now it's magnetized uh the overall accessories which is the trophy the mvp uh it's a little bit a, a different color um the uniform improved but the most important aspect of the enter bay figures which is the head sculpt because let's be honest here the uniforms you can buy it on ebay for third party but the head sculpt it's it's uh you know that's what you buy and they're not that great so now accessories to take a look it's even missing a rim holding hand or a follow through hand for that it doesn't matter it's Giannis. he uh basically just powers you in the rim new ball here wilson um adam silver signed it so it's not like the old spalding for my jordans and all that stuff which is cool uh the championship trophy the larry o'brien trophy looks pretty cool and it does have uh well it, it looks like it always has a net but the color is a bit different it's more it's deeper gold uh it's more colorful compared to the previous one which is a bit lighter um it is also it's shiny so it's a, a magnet for fingerprints this is the uh, finals what is this uh bill russell mvp trophy looks pretty cool i think i have that with steph or who did i get it for i think uh dirk and you got the two-time mvp Giannis here uh which is pretty cool as well and i like the plaque there it's it's uh, you can actually read it 2018 2019 and the other one uh trophy here as well 19 and 20 back to back uh mvp here Giannis. i think the 1920 is where he got the uh um, defensive player of the year as well i wanted to see that trophy the the defensive player of the year because i they've never done that we've seen this mvp all-star from kobe and now you got this uh Kind of like a warmer from uh or the jacket from the nba championship here uh two-time nba champion milwaukee bucks i didn't see the first one it's probably years ago but let's take a look at the body and uniform so you can see his kicks there i don't i'm not familiar with Giannis's shoe so i'm gonna leave it as it is the uniform itself has improved i would say that uh from the previous generations the previous one it feels like it was ironed on now this is not stitched but you can see you know the box lettering here the number 34 there's an nba logo on his sleeves that has all improved the nike logo which is uh you know kind of like holographic uh that's still a sticker now the side here's the thing though you can see this uniform is white i had bad experiences with white uniforms especially like say something with lebron james when he was with the heat 
the Enter Bay LeBron because historically they use glue on these guys and over time you can see the glue drying out and becoming yellow so it creates a yellow stain now it hasn't happened with my bulls because they never used any glue on it i think they used one here but you can see the side patterns in here they are actually stitched so that's pretty cool the milwaukee box logo there is printed on uh, his socks has nike on it man this is licensed you can see the check mark on his shoe so and you see Nike all over Giannis for that matter. Uh, his socks has the stitching on the back. So you just kind of wiggle it around to make sure you hide it. It is pretty, the uniform itself is nice. I purchased one, uh, the um, Kevin Durant back in the day, yeah, Warriors jersey for like $30. It wasn't bad, but it's not as good as this this is this feels quality even on the side you can see that stitched but on the front end this is where i'm kind of worried because on the side they're kind of glued on and again like i said earlier they're gonna turn yellow over time we shall see we don't know yet it's not gonna happen right away but over time it happens to my joker uh the hot toys joker lebron james and alan iverson you know so we'll see uh but got the uh, right right off the bat you got the uh, magnetic hands attached to it and the good thing is everything is white so you don't it's not going to stain the figure because if the sleeves are black or the socks you know they're tight so the the color black would transfer into the body of the figure now a head sculpt yeah yeah no <laughs> yeah I don't want to give a number to it, but if I have to, it's like a six. The ultimate test is you remove the head sculpt without the uniform, show it to someone, even a basketball fan, and they will think this is Chandler Hutchinson uh, from the Chicago Bulls. He retired already. Uh, he's not a, you know, his career is uh, not very long. He's probably young, still young, but yeah it's not i mean i guess if you squint really hard you'll see Giannis in there a little bit uh, i do like the fade though you know it's not storm collectibles fade but it's a fade um yeah i don't know this is where i miss the second head sculpt because i think they stopped it around derrick rose where you have like a, a normal head sculpt because you're not going to pose him in an intense pose all the time. There's going to be, especially with their bases are so big. In this kind of look, he would look like he's dunking on someone or, you know, dribbling really hard. He's intense. But if he's just standing there holding the ball, it doesn't look right. Because I'm going to show you in the poses later on. But yeah, I mean, I, I get it. I get what they're going for. But man, bring back the two head sculpts, Enter Bay. You don't give enough accessories to, or the price is not too low to warrant just one head sculpt. Now let's go to the articulation here. You see that it's, there's a uh, separation on always with, with Enter Bay. I don't know why I keep on showing this single jointed elbow. Uh, you have swivel right there and there's no swivel on the arm basically because you, know, you don't want to put that there. But you can put the arms all the way up in the side. So on a defensive stance, you could do that. Some butterfly joints in there. You could. But you're going to you know, see that big seam on the side. You can spread his wings as well. So for dunking poses, that works. Um, there's some ab crunch. You can you know push the abs on the back and in the front as well. I don't know why you would do that with Giannis, but he can kick up. So for those dunking poses, uh, double jointed knee. And there's an ankle articulation as well because of the ball joint on the shoes. Although I, I hope they change the way they insert the shoe. That is a pain in the ass. But uh, again, you can bend the knees, uh, double jointed knees, and you don't even see them. That's the beauty of it, because as you know, Enter Bay has joints all over the body. So it's not very sightly, but most of his is covered. And this is what I'm talking about. We're doing a championship celebration and he is mad. Bro, you just want a championship. Why are you mad? You know, so this is where the second head sculpt comes in for poses like this, because again, even though I have a lot of Enter Bay figures and I can kind of mix and match them, I have a rim as well. 
I'm not going to put them in a dunking pose or a with so many enter bay figures that I do have. I just don't have the capacity to display them in in an active pose all the time. And now he looks constipated, you know, so yeah, man, here he is. Yeah, I mean, you can pose him like this, I suppose, you know, you could. But then again, you take up space with his legs spread out. This works if you have like 10 figures. My enter bay itself, I think I have like 25. So, yeah, man, space is, is a priority here. Plus, you, it gives you so much option if you get two head sculpts. Again, this is not like a Hot Toys figure where you have a plethora of weapons or, or a swap out. They don't even include a second uniform anymore. Back in, back in the day, they got two unis, two head sculpts, and a bunch of stuff. Here he is dunking. Look at the arm. It doesn't, just doesn't look right. <laughs> but hey it is what it is and let's rotate him you know he got the 360 dunk right here he's about to slam it down Giannis with his uh you know this base right here it's it's beautiful you know don't get me wrong um uh, it's about to slam it and there it is I didn't show the uh you know the stand as well you'll see it in the back later on but the base itself pretty much you know you just it's cool and this is the enter bay rim that i bought for really cheap i think a few years back and this is another thing that irritates me look at him he's shorter than lebron he should be taller than lebron lebron is what like six nine and yad is around six eleven and yad is not, not a small guy he's pretty jacked you know his elbows are you know like his shoulders are popping out but next to lebron even next to steph steph shouldn't be like they undersized Giannis in this figure lebron and and, and steph uh, again steph should be a little bit shorter but lebron is either lebron no lebron is not oversized Giannis is undersized in my opinion because if you put lebron next to uh steph i think the comparison is is, is decent but yeah they messed up on the height here and you can see the backdrop there it is magnetic as well the other side is better uh the Giannis Antetokounmpo the other side is a buck side so I like that a lot better honestly and you can it's like magnetized from the back I'm not even just watch my Steph Curry I know I shot it but you know I don't know where it's at uh, but it's nice. It, it it is a decent figure. It's not the most horrible figure. But look, you look at the picture and look at what they they gave you. I don't I don't think they're trying to copy the picture because he's, he's kind of happy here. He's more intense on the figure. It's a typical Enter Bay figure. It is expensive. It's not worth three hundred dollars. But at the end of the day, if you're a Giannis fan. You can wait for a deal. That's what I would suggest. Now, he's sold out at Big Bad Toy Store, but I'm pretty sure you can pick up L and elsewhere. I mean, I got this from Scott, and it was a terrific price, uh, to be honest with you. I don't think you can get a, a better price than what I did. But my point is, it's there. And if you miss out on this, honestly, you're not missing out on a lot. So, and unfortunately, I can say that for every Enter Bay figure review that I have. Now, there's two more that's coming my way, which is uh, Kevin Durant and Michael Jordan, the all-star version. And you might ask yourself, if you don't like Enter Bay that much, why keep on buying it? Well, they're on sale. And I think if they go on sale, you buy them for the right price. They're they're OK for, for what they offer. And I'm a huge basketball fan. I shouldn't even be ha be having this because I'm I'm a Bulls guy and they eliminated eliminated us like two years ago and they're Milwaukee, all these you know this this rivalry and all that stuff, but I'm such a basketball fan and who can hate Giannis? Giannis is like the poster child for rags to riches, you know and and you who can hate the guy? The guy is just you know likable and he's gonna a uh, future Hall of Famer. So there you go, guys. Giannis from Enter Bay. Decent figure, overpriced. If you can get in the secondary market, I highly recommend it. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video.